So there was a question on how to do the push motion, and it's not that hard. It's just the timing, and all of the characters have a slightly different timing on when they start the push or end the push. Um, so what I'm going to show you right here, I just have her pushing the package. Just something silly. It's holiday time. What I got the girl just in case people aren't sure, right here in characters. I'm gonna go up here under 3D and there she is. And then I just grabbed a present and I wasn't sure where they had them. So I just put in present in the search field and then everything will come up and you can just find the one that you want. So once I put the characters here, the important thing is to have her standing where when she goes into the push motion, it immediately touches the object that you want to push, whether it's the present or whatever you have. So that's just making sure that you put her where she needs to be. So let's just show this and you'll see that I animated the group. I find it easier to animate the group when they're going off the screen and you don't need them to do anything else in the in the um, in the video. So let me just show you how I did that. First, let me do, um, just in case I mess up, I'm just going to delete that um, duplicate that because I'm going to show you how to do them separately as well. But let me just delete that action. The way I decide where to start is I just play it and right there when she makes that contact and then you look at her legs and she starts to move this leg that's when I'm going to start my animation I'm going to click animation position linear and then I'm going to drag the end keyframe over here She's still pushing, that's good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my shift key and my arrow to push them together just to make sure that it stays on a level um, line and I don't bump her around if I use my mouse. So there we go. Let's see how that looks. And she goes. Now, you're not always gonna have the character moving off. Sometimes you're going to want them to be on the screen after they finish the animation. I'm just gonna ungroup these two so I can show you how to animate them when they're not a group because you want her to stay on longer. Right here, right when she touches it and I see the legs start to move. I'm going to click animation, linear, position. And again, I'm using my shift and arrow. Right after she finishes pushing, I am going to make her animate into something else. So I'm gonna click on the girl, go up here to the actions. She's pushing an object and then I'm just going to make her happy. So when she's done pushing, she's really proud of herself. All right, we animated the girl. Now we need to animate the image. Because we're animating them separately, the timings can get a little messed up. So let's do position, linear. I'm going to go to the end and I am going to use my shift and arrow key to make it go to let's see what that looks like. She makes contact She's pushing. Now her hand is slipping a little bit behind 
the present. So I'm going to move her animation a little, but now the present continues to go when it should stop. So I'm going to use the shift and arrow key to bring it back to the hand. And I'm watching, see she's slipping behind the box again. So I need to move her a little bit. And what I just did was I moved the keyframe. Let's see. She's moving. It's still a little bit, but you can see her hand bounces a little bit. Let's see how that looks when it's not close up. Doesn't look too bad. I would probably try to fix that a little bit, but I think it's okay. Let's see the two of them. And once you practice all the timings, here she's walking a little slower, so I guess it's a heavier box. Once you practice it and you, um, I wouldn't probably go with something that's a little bit more, not quite a straight line because you're going to have a little bit of a harder time keeping all those. But I highly recommend use the grouping action when you're first doing it because it will make it easier. I hope that helped.